After a very warm Tuesday, temperatures are tumbling. We'll be in the 60s for the next several days to come with a few showers on Thursday and also breezy conditions with a very wet end to the week. I'll have all the details coming right up. We cannot legislate, you know, some of the stuff that is going on. And also coming up tonight on News Channel 6 at 10, at the driving, at the firing range, people are learning how to fire guns. And Augusta is preparing to work with a new ambulance company. I uh, will tell you which one. And I'm Nikita Dennis. Eight school officials vote on a rezoning. We'll explain their decision. Your music now. Live from Television Park. This is WJBF News Channel 6 at 10 on MeTV. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dee Griffin. Thanks so much for joining us. We begin tonight in Washington County, where the search for an escaped inmate comes to an end. Officers say William Knight left his work detail in South Baldwin County and ran off in a vehicle. According to the Georgia Department of Corrections, he had been incarcerated on involuntary manslaughter charges and said to be released in June of 2025. Knight crossed over into Washington County on Monday, where he abandoned the vehicle and took off on foot. Again, William Knight arrested tonight in Washington County. He will be extradited to Baldwin at a later date. The Aiken County Coroner's Office and Public Safety Office are investigating a homicide. It happened this afternoon at a home on Woodbine Road in Aiken. Inside, officers say they found the body of 70-year-old Ruth Ann Whitaker. Investigators say she was shot and died at the scene. An autopsy will be performed. No suspect information is available at this time. Protests continue in Atlanta at... Well, we need information on how to handle the upcoming weather because... Uh, we have a lot of sunshine and warm temperatures, because, but cooler temperatures are heading our way. Jenna is here tonight to tell us more. Yeah, we had a really nice sunny and warm Tuesday. We had a high in the 80s, and that'll change as we go into tomorrow. But in the meantime, still a very mild night, nice and clear outside. Here's our Terry Lambert Hyundai Sky View Cam over at the Inventum Center. As I mentioned, highs in the 80s today, specifically 84 in Augusta, only one degree away from reaching our record setback last year, actually, of 85 degrees. Interestingly enough, the first week of March of last year was also in the 80s. Our low temperature of 52 degrees was 10 degrees above average as well. And as we go into tomorrow morning, we'll be right back to around average, though, in the 40s. Right now, seeing 60s, though, still very mild. 66 in Thompson and Evans, 63 in Swainsboro. Augusta at that 60 degree mark, 64 in Lincolnton and 65 now in Gibson. Clear skies for all of us, a breezy night as well. We have a cold front to our south, low pressure developing out towards the plains and up into the Midwest with those winds coming in from the northeast for us. We're seeing very breezy conditions, 13 miles per hour in Aiken, 8 in Augusta, 9 in Waynesboro. A lake wind advisory is in effect just as of the 10 o'clock hour, continuing until 7 a.m. tomorrow. So those winds are on the rise. Wind gusts will be up to 25 miles per hour overnight tonight. Luckily not impacting really anyone since, of course, getting ready for bedtime and tomorrow morning this ends really early. Winds will be starting to settle down as we go into the afternoon. Temperatures will only top off in the 60s. A few showers by Thursday with a wet and gloomy Friday in store. I'll have all those details coming up in the full forecast, but back to you, Dave. All right, Jenna, thanks so much. The Aiken County Board of Education. At Tile Center, we offer the area's best selection of quality tile and stone products, exclusive designs, expert staff, and amazing customer service. Are you overwhelmed with all the details of your tile or stone project? Don't worry. Our team has the expertise to assist homeowners, contractors, architects, and designers with any project. Come see why for yourself at any of our locations at Tile Center or online at tilecenter.com. Your tile and stone experts. Let's start the show. Conditions along with the beautiful weather will continue throughout this week. As for the weather here, let's check in with meteorologist Jennifer Trachi. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live by per 6. Well, definitely no ice skating here in town. It already feels like springtime with the temperatures we've had over the last couple of weeks. That trend continues right now. Here's our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview cam over at the airport. A clear night with breezy conditions. Flag is blowing with a north wind of 8 miles per hour. 60 degrees, so another above average night, at least for now. Those temperatures are going to dive all the way into the 40s when we wake up tomorrow morning. But right now, widespread 60s, anywhere from 61 in Wrightsville up to 66 in Thompson. Aiken, you're at 65, 68 in Barnwell, 66 in Allendale. And
164 in Edgefield. Winds are picking up just as of a moment ago. Those winds are really increasing gusts up to 20 miles per hour expected over the next couple of hours, possibly even 25 miles per hour in some locations. And that's why we have a late wind advisory in effect that's just started at 10 o'clock, goes until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then those winds will be able to settle down by the late morning. But notice on satellite and radar, nice clear skies. Not much happening across the CSRA. We have a cold front to our south with low pressure starting to develop over in northern Texas. And we'll start to see some more clouds by tomorrow evening. But starting out nice and sunny, 43 degrees, a much chillier start to the day. And only making it into the upper 60s tomorrow, putting us right back to around average for this time of the year. But then as we go into the rest of the week, Temperatures aren't really changing. We're seeing a lot of low to mid 60s, and that will continue all the way through next week as well, bringing us back to a winter-like pattern when typically by the 15th of March, which will be next week, we're already into those 70s at the highs. So we're actually going backwards, but I'm sure as we go into the end of the, Mar end of the month of March, we'll be right back on track with those warmer temperatures. Once again, wind advisory in effect, winds coming in from the north as we go into the rest of tonight, up to 20, 25 miles per hour. Settling down by seven o'clock, could possibly st still see those gusts up to around 20 by the lunch hour, but not too bad as we go into the rest of Wednesday. Then we'll see this low pressure system move towards the east. We're going to see more clouds tomorrow. Warm front will be staying to our south. This model has it to our north, but actually that high pressure will be to the north, warm front to the south, which will make for a very gloomy, cloudy, and wet setup on Friday. This is another round of the wedge setup, so that cold air moving in from the north, getting trapped behind the Appalachian Mountains, southwest flow bringing in that moisture, and that'll make for the very cloudy day to end the work week. But lows tonight will be in the low to mid 40s, and for tomorrow, only making it into those 60s. We're right back to around the average, so if you want the cooler temperatures, this is a great week for you. Not a whole lot to rain to, wor rain to worry about until we go into Friday. High chances back to sunshine on Saturday and a few more rain showers as we spring forward on Sunday and into Monday. So we'll be right back. Come on in to Davis Appliance and Furniture where you can find the best deals in town. It's tax time, so when that refund comes in, it's the perfect time to get the furniture you've always wanted. For the brands you trust at the lowest prices, visit us at Davis Appliance and Furniture. Would you buy a coach of the year and running back John Tavius Curry was the players of the year. You can find the, the full all CSRA team at WJBF.com. And with Masters Week approaching, Augusta Regional Airport is checking off its to-do list. Hannah Latier shows us what workers are doing to prepare. Workers at the airport are getting ready for what they say might be the biggest turnout at the Masters since the start of the pandemic. Masters Week, of course, is historically the busiest week that we have at the airport. It's bringing in additional flights and staff, and so are its affiliates. That includes the airlines, rental cars, TSA. Everybody brings in additional staff and makes sure everything is ready, sitting on go for that busy week. They're also bringing back third-party services to help with air traffic control and ground safety. To help make sure we can navigate and park as many planes out here safely as we can. More people coming and going means more flight options if you're looking to get out of town that week. It's a great opportunity for locals to go and fly out. Everybody's vacating their homes for rentals and it's spring break for the kids, so it's a perfect opportunity to take a vacation. But there are some warnings. During Masters Week, please give yourself at least three hours to give yourself enough time to get through the parking, check-in process, screening, and make sure you have um, time to sit and kind of relax before you get on your flight. And be prepared for some traffic. This is really the full-blown Masters post-COVID, so we are really looking forward to getting back into the real Masters traffic that we see. So in years past, we kind of had to alter to a smaller number of people, so we're excited to get the numbers back up. Airport staff has been building on their experience from previous years and believe they are ready for a safe and smooth 2023 Masters Tournament. In Augusta, Hannah Latier, WJBF News Channel 6. A hip-hop legend is now an assistant principal in Harlem. A legend is now an assistant principal in Harlem. And he's teaching his students all about the culture. I'm Rihanna Harry, my exclusive story, coming up. If, if you've been arrested for a DUI in Georgia, you may
may only have 30 days to protect your license or your privilege to drive here. Hi, I'm Tiffany Duncan of DUI Duncan, the DUI firm here in Augusta. Visit our website at duiduncan.com to see what we've done to help so many drivers. If you've been arrested for a DUI in Georgia, call me now for a free consultation. While the firm, of course, cannot guarantee results, we do guarantee hard work and fast action. Remember the name, DUI Duncan. We were in the process of a new construction, and we needed doable floors, and that's what led us to A&D. We love that they were a locally family-owned business, and they have a friendly and knowledgeable staff. A&D has a beautiful showroom with a lot of options to choose from. We ended up with the Mannington Week. It made their home very inviting. They did a phenomenal job throughout the whole process. We would highly recommend A&D to anyone looking for new flooring. A&D Carpets and Hardwoods. Come see us today. Last but not least, as New York City marks 50 years of hip-hop this year, one Harlem educator is on a mission to teach his students about it. And today, a few special guests share their trailblazing stories with his students. Here is Anya Harry. This event was all about showing students the potential they have inside of them firsthand. They learned from hip-hop legends who went to the same schools as them, who walked the same streets as them, and created a global culture. The first rap I ever wrote was based on everything I had just learned in Mr. Fitz science class. And it was cool. And it was all right to be cool, to be smart. Inside the halls of Harlem's middle school, 286, D.L. Barksdale found his voice and his calling, becoming DLB and a student here, creating the old school hip hop group, The Fearless Four. They made early rap songs like Problems of the World. Got a high school diploma and a very ambitious, so I, oh, why do I live this way? Today, middle school 286 is also known as the Urban Assembly Academy for Future Leaders. And DOB of the Fearless Four is the assistant principal. Barksdale calls this moment full circle. And while his students certainly know all about today's hip hop culture, <laughs> Barksdale wanted to show them how this multi billion dollar global movement started with New York City teens just like them. So he brought his students to the Shabbat Center to hear from a few of his friends. To see their eyes light up when these people came through. People like Cool DJ, Red Alert, Grandmaster Kaz, and Harlem's own, the human beatbox, Desmond Crash. I want the kids to know that all we want to do is inspire you. We want you to be the best that you can be. We want to tell you the stories that we went through, things that we've seen happen, and hopefully there'll be tools for you to make better decisions in your life. The students listened closely as the hip-hop legends shared their insight in a panel discussion. And they learned more about Light Feet, a form of hip hop dance that started in Harlem. I learned that hip hop is important to our culture and community. I learned that hip hop is about being yourself. Today was about me sharing with my students. Not only do I come from the same school building in the same neighborhood as you, but these are the people who were in my life as I was growing and discovering myself. And while we were unbeknownst to us, creating hip-hop culture. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm sure the kids were loving that. Yeah, that took me back in time a little bit. I used yeah. to love those groups. <laughs> well, I was loving the nice warm weather mm -hmm. today. It was a beautiful Tuesday night and sunny. We had a high of 84 degrees. No more 80s, though, over the next several days. Really not even 70s. We're going down to 68 tomorrow. Lows will be in the 40s. Back to around average all the way into next week. We'll have a few showers Thursday night, a very gloomy and rainy Friday. Some more sun on Saturday and showers return as we spring forward on Sunday and into Monday. All right, the news continues at the top of the hour on WJBF News Channel 6 of 11. And Hogan Heroes is next on BTV. Have a good night. could be two hundred and three million dollars good luck and play on america it was a very warm tuesday but everything changes tomorrow temperatures are dropping into the 60s and that'll be the case all through next week i'll have all the details on your forecast coming right up now on news channel 6 at 11 the final decision on the highland springs middle school rezoning we have a live report plus the city of augusta reaches
reached an agreement on a new ambulance service, but the cost is still unknown. We have the details coming up. And the latest from the Mexican kidnappings to survivors. At 11. Griffin, a new school is coming to Aiken County, and tonight parents are learning more about rezoning for the students. Nikita Dennis, live in the Satellite News Center, Nikita Dennis, WJBS News Channel 6. And it's time now for first to check out the weather. Meteorologist Jennifer Trotley joins us now with a look at what's going on tonight and into tomorrow. Yeah, it was a beautiful and warm day, very spring-like once again. And right now, temperatures are still on the mild side under clear skies. Here's our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview cam over at Washington Road. Pretty nice night today. It was very warm, 84 degrees, only one degree shy of tying our record, which was actually set just a year ago at 85 degrees. So it was actually just as warm this time last year. We were seeing a lot of 80s, but that won't last for long. Our temperatures are about to tumble down drastically. Low of 52 was also 10 degrees above average, but tomorrow morning we'll be back into those low to mid 40s. May not seem like it right now because we're still in the 60s, but we'll start to see those temperatures drop overnight. 63 in Augusta, 64 in Barnwell, Lewisville, you're at 65, 67 in Sparta, upper 60s in Sandersville, and low 60s over in Washington. Clear skies for all of us. We have a cold front to our south, low pressure forming out towards the west. We'll start to see more clouds move in tomorrow with some rain headed our way by the end of the week. But in the meantime, just a breezy setup for now. Nine mile per hour winds in Augusta, 15 in Aiken. Expect gusts up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour overnight tonight through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's when we have a lake of wind advisory in effect. So keep that in mind. will be another breezy day, very similar to what we've been dealing with over the last couple of weeks. We've had pretty high winds and warm temperatures, but tomorrow not as warm, more so mild only topping off at 68 degrees. 60s will stick around for the next several days with a few showers on the way tomorrow night and a very gloomy and wet setup in store for us to end the work week. I'll have all the details on your forecast coming up shortly, but back to you, D. All right, Jenna, thanks so much. We'll see you then. Augusta is preparing to yeah, see you soon. The Live Piper 6 Skyview Network, sponsored by Terry Lambert Hyundai. accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Good Tuesday evening. I hope you had a great day and enjoyed the warm temperatures because today was the last day of it. We have some big changes coming our way starting tomorrow. But here's our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam over in Emanuel County. A nice clear and mild night sitting at 63 degrees in Augusta. Breezy though. We have a northeast wind at 9 miles per hour. Wind gusts will be up to 25 miles per hour as we go into the overnight hours. Seeing all 60s now with the exception of Saluda now drops down to 59 degrees. 64 in Aiken and Barnwell, 67 in Bamberg, Sylvania. You're in those low 60s. 64 over in Crawfordville and 62 in Lincolnton. All of us dealing with the breezy conditions, especially over in Aiken County. Sustained winds at 15 miles per hour. We have a lake wind advisory that went in effect just an hour ago and goes until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. After that, winds will begin to settle down. Satellite and radar are showing not much happening across the CSRA or the two state. We have a cold front to our south and low pressure is forming out towards the west, bringing some scattered showers and storms. We'll start to see more clouds by tomorrow evening, but starting out with a lot of sunshine and chilly temperatures. Low 40s only making it into the upper 60s by the afternoon with a northeast wind still. So Notice the temperature trend really isn't changing much after tomorrow. We'll consistently see the 60s all the way through this time next week. Actually a little bit below average, and that pattern is con expected to continue all the way through the end of next week. Definitely feels like winter time once again, which is around average for now. 67 is typically where we're at, but by next week, the 15th, that's when we're typically in the 70s as highs and we're sort of reverting backwards. But I'm sure as we go into the end of the month, we'll warm right back up. Here's a look at the winds tonight at midnight, 22 mile per hour gusts in Augusta, settling down after we reach seven o'clock in the morning, more so around 15 miles per hour, possibly still 20 miles per hour here and there, but not too bad. Overall, pretty nice Wednesday, but then we'll have this low pressure system come in from the west. We'll have a wedge set up for him on Friday. So just a few showers Thursday night. This warm front will actually stay to our south with high pressure to the north. And that's what forms that wedge of cold air. So a very gloomy pattern 
in store for Friday. Southwest flow is bringing in the moisture and that's running into all that cold air on the windward side of the Appalachian Mountains. So it's going to be very cloudy and rainy to end the work week. But tonight, clear skies, lows in the low to mid 40s and for tomorrow, 60s for all of us right around average. Over the next 10 days, we'll be a couple degrees below average, seeing a lot of low 60s. A few showers Thursday night with scattered showers throughout the day on Friday. Back to some sunshine on Saturday, and we spring forward an hour on Sunday. Scattered showers expected that day and into Monday of next week. So the, the warmer temperatures will be back eventually, but we're back to normal now. Yeah, it looks like by next Friday, we could see that 70 degree mark once okay. again. I hope so. I would love some 70s. Just keep it at 70. Yeah, 70 is perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, with the recent high profile cases involving the police officer, keep. One cheerleader shows enough pep for her whole team. See how she shows her spirit after the break. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. After her team of five couldn't make it to a cheerleading competition, one little cheerleader performed by herself at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Her coaches told her she didn't have to do it and that she could just forfeit. But Peyton had enough pep for herself and the whole team. With butterflies in her stomach, she did her best and actually won first place. Way to go, Peyton. Wow, that's super cool. I would have been way too shy as a kid to do that by myself. Uh, me too, me too. Yeah. But she did it, and look at her. She's just going. Yeah, go ahead, Peyton. Killing it. <laughs> Peyton says, hey, I'm still here, and I'm going to do it. Yeah. And, yeah, and now she gets to keep that big trophy. All to herself. herself. <laughs> well, she'll probably give it to the school. Yeah, yeah. at least you got the cool photos with it. Exactly. Though. Well, for our forecast, we are having some big changes tomorrow. It's the temperatures. Today we had 84 degrees as our high. That will not be the case tomorrow, though. 68 is our high. We also have the lows into the 40s for the next several days. Highs will stay in the 60s, right around average. We also have a few showers headed our way on Thursday. It's going to be cloudy and very gloomy on Friday as well. 70% chance of rain. Back to some sunshine on Saturday. Saturday, then the rain comes right back on Sunday, which is when we spring forward an hour. Daylight saving time begins. And then next week, still seeing those 60s, lows even down into the 30s. And it looks like by next Friday, we'll see a little bit of hope when it comes to warmer temperatures, possibly back up to 70 degrees. All right, there you have it. You just pull those coats back out that we put up, but I. I didn't put it up all the way, but yeah, just pull yeah, it Yeah, it's we're in that in-between season where you need a little bit of everything when it yep, comes to clothing. Right. You just leave in the morning with the jacket on, yep. come back in the afternoon with no jacket. Exactly. It's like in the car, you have the heat on in the morning and the air on in the afternoon. Yeah. So, but this is a nice time. We'll be in 100 degrees in no time, so <laughs> enjoy right. this. That's our report for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to download our mobile app for breaking news and weather. Our next news is at 4.30 a.m. with Barry Morrison and Barkley.